coming to you this day from the third floor of the Rhode Island State House. My name is Dave Barber, and in these segments, we like to take a couple of minutes and talk to members of the General Assembly about things that are important to them, things they're working on, how it might impact you, the Rhode Island citizen. And we are deviating a little bit from our uh, format today because in this Capitol Spotlight, we have not one, but two members of the Rhode Island General Assembly, two members of the Rhode Island House of Representatives, the Honorable Representative Scott Guthrie and the Honorable Representative Lisa Tommaso. And to both of you, I say welcome and thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Glad to be here. Thank you. And, and, and I know both of you uh, share some common interests uh, regarding this Coventry Fire District. It's been in the news a great deal. Um, who would like to start us out by bringing us up to date as to where that whole issue is right now and how it stands? We can try our best. Um, they, uh, they had a, an accounting error to begin with, um, and they had a little bit of trouble trying to get a couple of uh, budgets passed. So we needed, we needed to give some tools to the fire district to, to try to get a budget passed, and we needed to, to buy them some time because this is a very complicated issue. So we're looking to help them out over the summer to try to rebuild and get back on track, so to speak. And Representative Tommaso, when you hear people talk about a fire district, you obviously are concerned about public safety and the coverage uh, that is available in that area for fire protection. I presume uh, people, as of this taping, things are uh, safe and, and, and people have access to fire services. They are, and they do have access to fire services, but also that's what has brought uh, this issue to the General Assembly. Uh, some recommendations that were made uh, to resolve this problem included divvying up uh, the parcel of Coventry, which represents about 18,000 of its residents in this district that has uh, financial problems. And um, those those folks uh, would be without fire coverage uh, in, in the event that this district were, were to liquidate or cease to exist. Well, and not only that, but the mere fact of offering fire protection in and of itself, it's an expensive undertaking just by virtue of the kind of training, the equipment, the things that you need in order to uh, provide that type of service. Now, there was a, a bill that passed finance yesterday um, what happens next? What's the next move relative to this uh, issue? The bill that we passed, or they passed out of finance, will be coming to the floor tomorrow, Thursday. Um, what that bill would do is it would allow the fire district to have a reverta clause. And if you, in, the, in the event that you don't pass a, a budget for any given uh, district or town or city, you normally would, would revert to the previous year's budget, work off of that budget, and then try to come back to the taxpayers and present another plan. So. That is the one piece out of my original bill that it will be presented to the floor tomorrow. So, uh, uh, Representative, what's the takeaway? What's the one thing that you want your constituents, the residents of Coventry, to keep top of mind relative this, to this issue? What's, uh, what's the one important bullet point? I think that um, the biggest bullet point is, is that we don't, the uncertainty of liquidation, the cost of liquidation, uh, has been stated by the judge that could be anywhere between 17 and 23 million. Um, and that would be a burden borne to the people living in the Central Coventry Fire District. We need to do whatever we can to mitigate that cost, and keeping the district going uh, will, in fact, do that. And so we would like to. Um, we hope that tomorrow our bill will pass, but we would also like to see an amendment brought to that bill, which would allow them to revert back to a tiered t system of taxing that is similar to what is used in the municipalities um, in order to be able to reduce the rate further and, again, minimize the cost and the burden to the homeowners. Well, I know it's an important issue. I know the folks in your district are watching it closely. Uh, Representative Tommaso, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for having me. And, of course, Representative Guthrie, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much. and uh, I would you and your colleagues in the House the very best. Thanks for having us, Dave. And of course, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you for watching. It's Capital Spotlight. My name is Dave Barber.